Today we're doing uh, a beautiful blue heron. Here we go. We're not going to do any other background, just maybe the grass and the blue heron. You can say he could be a sand hill crane, but because he doesn't have the red on the head, it's a blue heron. See? See, you can see it. There you go. Okay, let me open my palette. I got my colors here. I have two different greens. I have Christmas green and the marsh green. I have yellow, black, a little bit of red, more black. I think I'm going to use a lot of black, white, and blue. Okay, let's get started by putting in some green in the background. Let's see. both greens just kind of mix it in the important thing is just to get it in there move it around try not to blend it all into one color we'll come back and play with it some more but the important thing is to get that green background so we can start on the bird I'm using a one inch flash flat brush, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of yellow on the bottom, a little bit more green, cover it, I'm swiping, see the stroke, swiping, but I'm doing pretty quick. some here, a little, little bit of yellow here, a little bit of yellow there, and it's blended in with that dark green that's already on the canvas, and it's an 8 by 10 you paint it in any size you like, okay, I'm going to put this one down in water, and I'm going to grab a half an inch flat, and I'm just going to kind of tap it wherever it's wet just to kind of pick up a beautiful effects. might see it, might not, but I can see it. I'll bring it up a little bit closer so you can see what I'm referring to. You see? It's going to dry pretty quick because I didn't lay it on thick. Okay. Swerving back and forth. Kind of get all these pretty colors blended in there. Okay, now that we have that, again I'm going to put it in the water. Let's see. Now we're going to sketch our bird in. You do not have to sketch it in if you want. To. If you don't want to, just put on paint as soon as we start putting color in. But you can use, once this is dry, you can use a white chalk. You can use a white Crayola pencil. Or you can use a fabric pencil. Any color, as long as you can see what you're doing. I'm going to go ahead and use this one. And another thing you might want to do is sketch it ahead of time. This is what I did. I sketched it ahead of time to make sure that I got the forms correctly and the size for my 8x10. Which is a great idea because you can put them this way or you can put them this way. Flip them. See that? And you can put them low or you can put them high to the left or to the right. I will put them to the left if you're going to put them facing that way. If you're going to face them this way, put them here. You want the peak to be in the inside of your painting. Now some people might say, oh, that's cheating. No, it's not cheating. It's what makes your life easier. Okay? 
that's what we're going to do so I'm going to put my bird right here facing to the left and I'm going to give room for it to be standing on some grass and I'm also going to leave some room for the once I put the frame so actually I'm going to change my mind I'm going to try to do it with the chalk and if it doesn't work yes it's working okay you all you just want is a basic sketch because once we put the color that's what's important just to have an idea of the size here you go hold the little legs hold the little legs there you go come on this way I love to sketch freehand but when it comes to something like this I don't feel bad sketching it and then cutting it out and tracing it like this it's my sketch I just decided to cut it and I have to do it twice how's that see that can you see that I'm sure you can look at that beautiful bird I'm not going to be worried about finishing his legs because again he's going to be in some kind of grass there so let's put color to this baby let's start by putting some dark gray and I'm going to start with a small flat brush maybe a quarter inch so I'm going to pick up some black mix it in with my white a little bit more because we're going to need that color and we're going to start putting color in it don't worry about the chalk the chalk can come off later take a dry brush and just sweep it away more. Okay, see, this is just to have an idea. Doesn't have to be exact. if you think you got it's too big just shorten it just don't paint it all the way to the lines just keep it inside the lines like some what like what I'm doing see start getting that idea I'm borrowing my husband's uh, painting. He painted that a few years ago. And um, he gave it to one of my sisters. She lives in New York. And she has it in her home. She's a regular visitor here to Florida. Nice young lady. She's my sister. Okay, let's do this. Bring it down some. Again, we're not going to worry so much about the legs for now. Just going to kind of define. I think that's a pretty good size. I might want to go a little larger up to my line. If it's your first time painting a bird, um, it's okay. I'm sure you're going to do well. Okay. I'm going to flip so I can get here. pick up a little bit more white if 
slip my brush. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. Okay, now I'm gonna go down the leg. We're gonna give it a little lump there, just cause. Just say he's standing pretty straight. Okay, there we go, beautiful. Now we're gonna start putting some color. Okay, let me clean my brush here. Keeping my picture here for reference. As you can see, his is looking that way, mine is looking that way. It's a little challenge when you flip it, but challenge is always good. So I'm going to pick up a little bit of blue just to kind of give it that blue color that it shows in there. It doesn't have a lot of blue, but you can kind of tell there's certain blues going through him. So go ahead and pick up some blue just so that you can have the shade in there. Beautiful. Beautiful. And as you're going down, go like this. Make kind of lines like this and it looks like feathers. You saw that? Look at that. Don't worry about it being too dark blue we can always come back and and change that go over it once it dries a little bit okay look at that looks like feathers already beautiful we're gonna give it a little blue here in the neck beautiful forming it going up curve it follow the neck curve it don't make a straight line Come back and play with those colors. Play with that. A little bit of blue in the tail. We'll cover some of it later. Let's just get those effects in there. Okay, a little bit of come back and put colors on those legs. I'm just putting that blue a little bit everywhere. When the sun hits this bird, you see all sorts of colors all around him. Okay, hopefully this is helping you. I'm going to clean my brush once again. Dry your brush. Pick up a little bit of black. I'm going to go ahead and at the black that he that I see on his head which is something like this pick up a little bit more and again later we come back and define all this and he's got see he's got something that goes like this and it goes out like this I think that's good enough. I'm going to leave it just like that. And he's got a little black here. Which means that's somewhere that eye is going to be going there somewhere. Okay. And then. A little bit more black here. Mixed in with some of that blue. this one. Look how pretty. You can pull down. Look how pretty. Look how pretty. So that. Don't be afraid. You're going to play with it. Um, it's a little nerve-wracking, but it's okay. 
Believe it or not, I'm a little nervous too. I'm hoping that it comes out just the way I'm imagining. And if it doesn't, it's okay. Because sometimes you paint something and you like, oh, I don't like it. But come back a month, put it away, come back a month from now, look at it, and you're going to see it with a different eye. You say, oh, that looks pretty good. We're going to work on his peak. So I'm going to pick up some of that red, mix it in with my yellow to create orange. A little bit more yellow. I'm looking for orange. And we're going to do this. Again, I'm still using the same brush. I haven't changed. Pick up a little bit more yellow. A little bit of more yellow. Beautiful. Go out, make it pointy. Okay. Now I'm going to clean my brush. gonna go ahead and put his little breathing breathing nose just there just to kind of define start defining when things go here we go you go right there okay do it again there you go. and then he also has the black line that goes from here which is to define his little mouth straight 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 keep going straight straight out we'll come back and give some shadows and some lights i'm going to pick up some white using the flat one the same just scoop some of that white over We're going to start giving it some color. I'm going to start at the, the bottom of his neck, which is about here. And now this is just the sun hitting right here. We'll come back and play with this here in a second. Let me just continue. A little bit of white here. The sun is hitting right above his head. A little bit underneath. Beautiful. A little bit of in the back of his head. Don't forget to turn. Okay, turn, 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 turn. Keep following the same shape. And we're going to turn this way. Okay, we're going to put some down here because the sun is really hitting hard. You know, a little bit down his leg. Extend with some of that blue, that's okay. Going to put a little bit in the back here. And we're going to put some in between those feathers. A 
break it up small strokes long strokes this is going to make it look like feathers okay look at that picking up some more A little bit strikes here not much okay let's pick up some of that blue you don't have to clean your brush just put some more here following giving it that shape we'll come back and put some darker spaces in there okay in between here you go Beautiful. Keep going. Don't stop until he's completely full with feathers. Okay. Picking up a little bit of white. Towels his tail. Mix it in there. How's this? Okay, what are we doing now? Let's, we're going to put a little bit more uh, blue here. Turning, 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 turning. Defining his neck a little bit. Some blues in between here. A little bit blue here. Now we're going to pick up more blue, more blue. Let me put a little bit more blue on my palette. Beautiful. And we're going to just kind of add it here. And bring it down. And some on his neck. Going up, going up, get the hard, the hard uh, line there that I created, picking up a little bit of black just to give it a little shadow, here we go, then we're going to turn here, shaping them up, shaping them up. This little bird likes to eat a lot of fishes, so he looks very healthy. Beautiful, look at this. Okay, refine that. Refine that, a little bit of blue here next to his uh, head, around his eye. He's going to have a little bit of blue. Now, we're going to pick up some of that black. You don't have to clean your brush. Because it's like a mixture of blue and black. Let me get blue and black with his leg right here. Okay. Now I'm going to clean my brush. And pick up another brush. Sorry about that. My reference picture fell down. This is actually too big. Let me go ahead and clean the one I was using. I want to stick to the small one. So I'm going to pick up some white. And again, I'm going to go underneath. Right here, I'm going to go underneath his peak. A little bit of white there, like scrubbing it, scrubbing it in a little bit more on the top of his head. Beautiful. And now I'm gonna pick up. Oh, let me go ahead since I have that white here, I might as well put it in. 
where the sun is really hitting him. And a little bit on the leg. Because the sun is hitting right there. I'm going to go ahead and pick up some of that yellow, just a plain yellow. You don't have to clean your brush. Since you have white on your brush, you don't have to. I'm just going to put some more on his peak. Okay. Mixing it with a little bit of red. I don't want it to be plain yellow or straight yellow, so I'm going to make it a little bit more orange than anything. Beautiful. I like it just the way it is right now. So I'm going to put in his little eye. So I'm cleaning my liner because I have lotion on it. Liner. And we're going to do a little circle right where his eye go, which is right about here. And now we're going to give it some yellow in the middle. Beautiful. And we're going to put his eye back right there. It's too wet, so we might have to come back in a minute or so and put it in there. Let's see. Try it again. I think I'll keep it. Good enough. Now I'm going to put some shadow to separate his peak from his face a little bit. So I'm going to pick up some black, mix it in with some blue, and let's do this. It goes around here. Down. Right here. Let's do a little shadow right underneath his eye little shadow here. Doesn't have to be exact guys. Just kind of play with it. Okay. Now because I added this shadow here, it's standing it's standing too clearly for me. So I want to make sure I blend it in a little bit more. So Let's go ahead and pick up some of that orange that we created. Uh -huh. Put it in there. Blend it in a little bit. Okay. Let's go in the bottom and then we're going to have to come back and add the, the black line. Okay, let's pick up the black again and put the black line back in. Because with all those colors we added, kind of disappear, made it disappear. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, pick up a little bit of white and that blue, that mixture, and put it over his head again, just to raise his head a little bit more. So that. Great. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up my liner again. My liner, and we're going to add some of those feathers coming down the front from here. So we're going to just go here and go like this. Let it go. Bring it down and let it go. Go down and let it go. Just slide it. Let it slide. Let it slide. Let it slide. Just put in a couple more and you don't have to put too many. Maybe one more, two more. I'm darken that one. There you go. And this one, darken it a little bit. Now we're going to go 
to his legs and we're just going to kind of put a little bit more blue in there mixed in with that black just to so you can you can see some of that blue all right let's see anywhere else i think that's good for now let's go ahead and erase take pick up a dry brush any brush as long as it's dry and scrape off if it's if your bird is dry that is say so, oh it's not coming out that's okay wet your brush and it, it erases it it erases that line again dip it in my water erase that dip it in water erase those lines magically disappears and if it doesn't it's okay you can always add grass to it oh, paint on my nails again that's why I don't paint my nails because I naturally get uh, manicure every time I paint with acrylics now here we're going to add grass so we're going to I'm going to pick up some of my Christmas green and I'm going to add some grass so I'm going to pick up some Christmas green it could be any green you have it doesn't have to be Christmas green and tap it in my filbert and I'm going to tap 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 pick up some of that yellow so now you have a different green going there tap 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 okay just fill it in if you're picking up different greens that's great that's good that's good you want that you want all those pretty colors in there doesn't have to be just one color now we're going to pick up the liner once again if you have it in water take it out pick up some of that yellow and you're going to lift pick up green you're going to lift pick up some yellow you're going to lift 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 like this pick up yellow as well yellows and green pick up some yellows and green yellows and green just tall grass just tall grass that's what you're doing tall grass you're flipping you're flipping your brush which means you're flipping your liner See that? Just flipping. Just flipping. Flipping, flipping. Pick up some greens. You don't want it all to be yellow. So pick up, pick up, pick up. Keep, keep dipping your brush in the yellows and the greens until you're happy. See? That means the grass is tall. Now the grass in the background is pretty low, but it doesn't matter because it doesn't have to be defined because the importance is the bird. Now what I would like to do is pick up my small, tiny, the tiniest one I have, the liner. And the reason I picked this one up is because this is the one I sign with. So since this is a consider a finish painting I'm gonna go ahead and sign right here you do the same hopefully you're still with me um I hope you had a good time I hope you like to paint the bird and you 
want to practice, don't stop by doing one bird. Do a few birds. We never stop at one. We always paint more than one bird. Maybe not today, maybe not next week, but we always paint birds. Okay. I'll add the year in the back. There you go, Barreto. Guys, I'll see you on our next adventure. God bless you. Adios, amigos.